A genome browser provides a way for us to view a genome sequence along with various pieces of information or features that have been identified in that sequence. You are probably most familiar with the term browser in the context of an internet browser such as Safari, Chrome, or Firefox that provides a way for us to access and search for websites on the internet. The genome browser works similarly for genome sequences. The genome browser we are using allows us to view the genome assemblies of Drosophila, or fruit fly species, although our work for these modules will be focused on Drosophila melanogaster, the most commonly used species in the laboratory. Let's take a look at the various things we can view using a genome browser. Navigate to the genome browser by typing gander.wustl.edu and clicking on the Genome Browser link on the left side of the page. This will take you to the Gateway page. At the Gateway page, let's click to reset the browser user interface settings to their defaults. After we do this, we need to choose which genome we want to investigate. Choose the D. melanogaster genome and the July 2014 gene assembly. We will be looking at Contig1. After we hit Submit, we are brought to the view of this region. At the top of this page, we see the name of the species and the assembly and the position should show Contig1 colon 1 through 11,000. This means that we are viewing 11,000 base pairs of the Drosophila melanogaster genome. We can see the base pair numbers along the row called Scale. Let's first hit the Hide All button so we can choose which features of the genome we want to view. We use the term features in bioinformatics as a catch-all term for anything associated with the genome. Each of these features can be highlighted or displayed along with the genome sequence as a track that can be viewed in the browser. We can turn on and turn off various tracks and also adjust how each is displayed. Let's look at a few features. Start by clicking on the Base Position link under Mapping and Sequencing Tracks. By clicking on this, we can view a description of this particular track and change its settings if we wish. As the description states, the Base Position feature in the Genome Browser Annotations Track image shows the genomic coordinates of the displayed region, and when zoomed into the base level, you can see the nucleotides within that region. The description also tells us more about how to view the individual bases. Let's go back to the browser by clicking the Back button and view this track. Right now, the base position is set at dense. We can't see individual bases because we are too zoomed out. Let's zoom in to the first 100 base pairs of this genomic sequence by typing contig1 colon 1 through 100 into the position slash search box. After we hit Return, we are now able to see the individual bases of one strand of the DNA sequence, A's, T's, C's, and G's. If you click on the arrow below the scale Contig1 label, you can see the strand that is complementary to the top strand. In other words, the bottom strand. Click the arrow one more time to view the top strand again. Let's change the base position track to full to see more information associated with this feature. Click full and hit refresh. Below the bases, we now see gray boxes. These indicate the amino acids that are called for by each codon, or set of three bases. There are three rows of these boxes because there are three possible reading frames, depending on which base is used to begin the first codon. In other words, where the reading frame is established. So the first reading frame at the top starts with the very first base of the sequence. The second reading frame starts with the second base and the third frame with the third base. For each strand of DNA, there are three possible reading frames. So there are a total of six possible reading frames because DNA is double-stranded. Some boxes are labeled green. These are for the amino acid methionine. Translation always starts at a codon that codes for methionine, which almost always has the sequence ATG. The red boxes indicate stop codons. For example, TAA calls for an end to translation. 
Let's look at another feature, the genes that are located in this region of the genome. Let's zoom out to view the entire region by typing in contig1 colon 1 through 11,000 in the position slash search box. Notice that we no longer see the bases or amino acids. There is not enough room to draw all the nucleotides and amino acids. Let's turn on the FlyBase gene track to pack. This shows us the location of genes, as indicated by boxes and lines. The names of the genes are located to the left of each graphical representation of the gene, with the gene name shown to the left of the hyphen. This shows us that there are three genes in this region of the genome, CG32165, SPD2, and TRA. For these modules, we will be spending most of our time learning about the TRA gene.